and welcome back. So I hope this video helps you move on towards your goal of either passing your course or passing the FE. All right, so what we're gonna do in this question is we're just gonna take a look at a one-dimensional system where we have three bars, you know, in three different loads, and we wanna find the total deformation of that bar due to the applied loads, right? So the deformation of any individual bar is gonna be P times L over AE, you know, delta equals PL over AE, where P is the force, L is the length, you know, A is the area and E is the modulus elasticity. And to do that, what we wanna do is, you know, to, for the total bar for A, B, C, D, you know, this delta for the total bar, this is gonna be the sum of the parts. So delta A, B, you know, plus delta B, C, plus delta C, D, right? Well, in this question, we're given the areas, we're given the lengths, we're even given the modulus of elasticity. So what do we really need to do? Well, what we need to do is we need to know enough to first apply this equation, the deformation equation correctly, get our units right. And the second thing that we really need to do is we need to figure out what these forces are. Okay, so these forces are gonna kind of be key to the whole problem. So let's take a look at, you know, solving for those forces. So, let's say, you know, what we wanna do is we wanna find the bar forces in AB, you know, BC and CD. And to do that, um, what I like to do is just draw a free body diagram. So let's do that for, you know, the force in uh, CD, so we'll call this force FCD. All right, and to do that, let's draw a free body diagram, right? So the free body diagram, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of cut through this thing. And what I wanna do is, is when I cut through that, I'm anything that's in the yellow box, right? I need to put in my free body diagram. So I'm gonna start with, you know, what, joint D, right? And, and then I'm gonna have, you know, some cut surface here. I'm gonna have, also the 22 kilonewtons, and I'm going to keep, um, well, what I need to put in here is some force in CD. Okay, so this is my force in CD in, that we care about. I mean, you might have a moment in shear in here, but with a one-dimensional system like this, uh, they're not gonna exist. So I'm just gonna write them as some of the force in the X direction, right, equals zero, and anything to the right is gonna be positive, so FCD is going to the left, I'm gonna call that negative, you know, plus 22 kilonewtons, equals zero, and what do we get? Well, we get FCD is equal to 22 kilonewtons. Okay, and that's good, we get a nice value, um, but one of the things is just interpreting what it means, right? We get a positive value, didn't put a positive sign here, but it, this is a positive value. What does that mean? It means our arrow was shown in the right direction. I show this arrow pulling away from the cut face, and what that indicates is this is actually in tension, right? So anytime we're pulling away from a cut face, that's gonna be tension. All right, so we have our force. You know, this is our force in FCD. That was kind of step one. Okay, now what we can do is we can just start applying our equation. So if we have delta in CD, right, what is this gonna equal? It's gonna, well, it's gonna be PL over AE, right? So PL over AE, and what is that? Well, P, we have to take this force of 22 kilonewtons, and I'm gonna multiply it by 1,000 newtons per kilonewton. Because anytime I do this equation, I like to use you know units of um, newtons and millimeters. Okay, so if I can get everything into newtons and millimeters, I know that one you know newton per millimeter squared equals one MPA, and I like to use those units when possible, okay? So I'm gonna you know, multiply my kilonewtons times uh, 1,000 newtons per kilonewton. I'm gonna take my length, which is you know one meter, and multiply that by a thousand uh, millimeters per meter. I'm gonna take my area, which we were given as 900 you know, millimeters squared, that one's already in millimeters, so we're good there, and then times are you know, 200,000 uh, MPA, Right and right above, we said, well, one newton per millimeter squared equals an MPA, so I'm just gonna put that in times, you know, one newton per millimeter squared over one MPA. And, and let's take a look and make sure our units work out right. So, you know, on the bottom, we have the millimeter squared cancel out, we have MPA cancel out, we have a newton cancel out with a newton up here, we have kilonewtons cancel out, meters cancel out, so just about everything cancels out except for our millimeters here. So when we solve this and plug it into our calculator, you know, definitely pause the video, feel free to plug this in, but what we get is delta CD equals 0 0.122 millimeters. And one of the things that we need to take into consideration here is whether or not that gets 
shorter or longer, right? So what we know is this thing is in tension, right? So if this is in tension, that means that this is getting longer. So I'm gonna say if it's getting longer, I'm gonna say that this is positive, okay? So anything that's getting longer is gonna be positive. If we're in compression, it's gonna be you know negative, getting shorter. Okay, so that's you know it's kind of step one, bar one, and then kind of all we have to do here is repeat this for the next uh, two bars for bar A B and bar B C. So so we're gonna take a look at and try and solve for the force in you know BC so this is going to be F BC okay so to do that we're going to do something similar and I'm going to erase this box because what we want to do now is we want to cut through you know BC and our free body diagram is going to be everything that's included in that box so I'm going to take that down you know I'm going to have my member that's cut here right um, we're going to have you know coming off of this is going to be um, member CD so this is you know C and D and we have to remember the forces, right? These forces are inside that box, so we gotta include them in our free body diagram. So we have 30 kilonewtons here, and on this side we have, you know, 20, uh, two kilonewtons, and anytime our box cuts through a member, we have to replace that with a force. So here I'm gonna say this is member, you know, member force BC, and, and I'm drawing it away, assuming tension, um, and, and again, I'm gonna neglect shear in a moment here, because we have a one-dimensional system. Okay, so let's look at this. We, you know, take our sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero, and we start plugging in, right? We have FBC is in negative, because that's going to the left, you know, minus 30 kilonewtons, that's going to the left as well plus 22 kilonewtons going to the right has to equal zero. So when we solve this, you know, we can put FBC on the other side. Well, minus 30 plus 22, that becomes, you know, FBC equals minus eight kilonewtons. So that's another, you know, uh, solution, something to write home about. Um, but what does the negative sign mean? The negative sign means that our arrow, we assume this thing is pulling away. The negative sign means when we actually plug this in, the arrow is in the wrong direction. It means the arrow really should be pointing towards. And in other words, what that means is this should really be in compression. Okay, it's, it's, the negative sign basically means that we assume tension, we're wrong, we're in compression. So that means when we come over to our, our delta for you know, BC, this thing's gonna be getting shorter. So let's substitute in and solve for you know, the delta in BC. Well, what does that equal? It equals, and I'm gonna do some of these conversions uh, you know, right away, but I'm gonna say minus 8,000 newtons you know, times the length, which if our length is 1.5 meters, that's 1,500 millimeters and we're going to divide by our area which is 625 uh, millimeters squared and multiply that by uh, you know on the bottom of 200,000 and what's this this is a newton per millimeter squared so when we do the math out for that we are going to get minus 0. 096 millimeters. Okay, so another answer that we now know, right? And this is going to be, I should probably label it here, but this is going to be, you know, del, delta BC. Okay, and what we also know is because this thing's in compression, it's going to be getting shorter, right? And what we did here is we kept their negative sign to indicate, you know, compression and getting shorter. Okay, so now we've got, you know, two of the bars checked and we need to come back to the third bar. So let's do that. Let's look at the force, you know, in AB. So we'll call this, we'll call this FAB. Okay, and to do that, what again, what we're going to do again is we're just going to draw a box, you know, so we're going to cut right through AB and come all the way down over here. You know, alternatively, what you could do is you could solve for the reactions at A and you know do the, the left-hand side here, but we never solved for the reactions at A. We didn't need to. So let's take a look at this. So we're gonna cut you know, through um, AB. We're gonna have you know, joint, uh, joint B here. We're gonna have um, our member where we have you know, um, BC. We're gonna also have What's here? Well, this is CD, and we have to take a look at some of our, our forces. So, what do we have? Well, we have 22 kilonewtons, you know, 30 kilonewtons, and it's kind of same same dance, different numbers, right? Um, 18 kilonewtons, maybe a couple more, but and then here we have the force in AB. So, you know, we could label our points here. 
you know, this is going to be point B. We have you know point C and point D. But uh, you know what we're doing is we're just going to be applying again the sum of the forces in the x direction equation to solve this thing, right? And when we do that, we have you know minus FAB plus 18 kilonewtons because that's going to the right. You know minus 30 kilonewtons going to the left plus 22 kilonewtons going to the right, right? So all that has to equal zero. When we solve for FAB, we're just gonna get this equals 10 kilonewtons. You can plug all that into your calculator, do the algebra, and we get a positive 10 kilonewtons. So when we get a positive 10 kilonewtons, that means our assumption of tension was correct, and this thing is in tension, okay? So next we can just you know repeat this delta you know equation. So delta AB, you know, same thing. Now we just need to have 10,000 newtons, right? So we substitute the force in. Our length in this case is 500. You know, we have a half a meter here, so this is going to be 500 uh, millimeters divided by 1600 uh, millimeters squared times our modulus of elasticity again 200 thousand newtons per millimeter squared. Okay, so we put all that in and we gonna, we're gonna get a delta here of, you know, delta AB is 0.0156 millimeters. And again, since this is in tension, you know, our assumption of tension over here was correct. We got a positive value. That means this is gonna get longer. Okay, so what we've done is we've gone through and we've solved for each of the forces. You know, we've solved for each of the individual deformations and now really all we've left to do is put it all together. So let's come up and we'll take, you know, we'll just add these together. So we have delta AB which is, you know, plus 0.0156 millimeters. We have delta BC, which is you know minus 0.096 millimeters, and delta CD, which is you know plus 0.122 millimeters. So when we put all that together, you get you know plus 0.042 millimeters for the total deformation of this bar. All right, we can box that in. That's our final answer, and that's a good thing. Okay, so this is, you know, we know it's our final answer. This thing is getting longer by, you know, 0.042 millimeters. Not a, a crazy big amount, but it's an amount, right? And it's it solved the problem. And at the end, we were able to solve for our total deformation of bar ABCD. Hey, so I hope this helps. And if you have questions, you know, feel free to drop a comment. And if uh, otherwise, I hope you keep working hard, moving onward and upward.